The Next Generation Attack Submarine, or SSN, X, is a new kind of nuclear-powered attack submarine, SSN, that the Navy plans to start buying in the middle of the 2030s. The Virginia-class SSN design, which the Navy has been purchasing since fiscal year 1998, would be replaced by the SSN, X. The SSN, X program is asking for $237 million in research and development funding in the Navy's proposed fiscal year 2023 budget. The U.S. Navy employs nuclear-powered cruise missile submarines, SSGNs, nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines, SSBNs, nuclear-powered attack submarines, and nuclear-powered cruise missile submarines, SSNs. The SSNs are all-purpose submarines that can carry out a range of tasks in both peacetime and combat. As previously established, the Navy has started purchasing SSNs of the Virginia class since FY 1998. The Navy has been acquiring them at a rate of two boats yearly since fiscal year 2011. VPM-equipped Virginia-class SSNs have an estimated current procurement cost of roughly $3.6 billion per boat when purchased at a rate of two per year. Navy Virginia, SSN 774, Class Attack Submarine Procurement. CRS Report RL 32418 for more details on Navy submarine programs. General Dynamics Electric Boat Division, GD per exabyte, of Groton, Connecticut, and Quonset Point, Rhode Island, as well as Huntington Ingalls Industries Newport News Shipbuilding, HII, NNS, of Newport News, Virginia, construct U.S. Navy submarines. The only two shipyards in the nation that can construct nuclear-powered ships are these two. Only submarines are built by GD per exabyte, whereas nuclear-powered aircraft carriers are also built by HII, NNS. Numerous states' worth of laboratories and research institutions are also part of the industrial infrastructure for submarine building. A large portion of the supplies purchased from supplier companies to construct submarines comes from sole source providers. Designation of a program the X in SSN, X, denotes that the boat's precise design is still being worked out. In the middle of the 2030s, the Navy plans to switch from purchasing Virginia-class boats to purchasing SSN, X, S. According to the Navy, the SSN, X, will be built to combat the growing threat posed by competition between near peers and adversaries for undersea supremacy. Greater speed, a bigger horizontal payload, better acoustic performance, and higher operational availability will be offered by it. SSN, X, will be able to coordinate with a larger number of off-hull vehicles, sensors, and friendly forces while conducting full-spectrum undersea warfare. The multi-mission capability and persistent combat presence in restricted waters will be retained and enhanced. According to representatives of the Navy, the SSN, X, should be an apex predator. They went on to say that the Navy specifically wants the SSN, X, to incorporate the speed and payload of the Navy's fast and heavily armed Seawolf, SSN-21, class SSN design, the acoustic quietness and sensors of the Virginia class design, and the operational availability and service life of the Columbia class design. The original Virginia class design, which has a submerged displacement of roughly 7,800 tons, and potentially even the original SSN-21 design, which has a submerged displacement of 9,138 tons, will likely be surpassed by the SSN, X, design as a result of these criteria. The designs of U.S. Navy submarines with comparable cargoes have typically increased in displacement from one generation to the next due to technical advancements throughout time for better quieting and other objectives. Potential cost of procurement according to a Congressional Budget Office CBO, report from April 2021, the average unit procurement cost of the SSN, X, is estimated by the Navy to be $5.8 billion and by the CBO to be $6.2 billion in constant FY 2021 dollars. These amounts are significantly higher than the $3.6 billion unit procurement cost of a Virginia-class SSN with VPM. According to the report, 
SIBO's assessment anticipates that the SSN-X design will be comparable to the SSN-21 design in terms of size and capabilities. If the Navy accurately determined the SSN, X required S capabilities and accurately assessed the potential cost effects of certain required capabilities. The SSN X program's possible effect on budget allocated to other Navy program priorities. If the SSN X could be powered by a reactor plant using low enriched uranium, LU, as opposed to the highly enriched uranium, HEU, used on other Navy nuclear powered ships, and if so, what effect that would have on nuclear arms control and non-proliferation efforts, as well as the costs and capabilities of the SSN-X, and whether each SSN-X should be built jointly by GD per exabyte and HII-NNS, the, the separate yard approach used for building earlier Navy SSNs and SSBNs. Regarding the third of the aforementioned concerns, the Navy provided CRS with an unclassified copy of a Department of Energy National Nuclear Security Administration NNSA, report to Congress in January 2020 on the possibility of using LU for the SSN-X, that stated, it is not practical to substitute LU into existing naval fuel systems or to design a Virginia-class submarine VCS, replacement that would be challenging to estimate accurately at this time and expensive to implement. If future American policy calls for a switch to LU, it would take at least 15 years of advanced fuel development and a substantial expenditure. It is difficult to construct a lead ship VCS replacement with an LU reactor while adhering to the Navy's schedule given this development timescale. In line 154 of the Navy's proposed fiscal year 2023 research and development account, Project 2368, SSN, X, Class Submarine Development, Within Program Element, PE, 060485ON, SSN, X, and Project 2370, Next Generation Fast Attack Nuclear Propulsion Development, Within PE 060357ON, Advanced Nuclear Power Systems, are both asking for a total of $237 million in research and development funding for the SSN, X, program. The House Armed Services Committee and House Appropriations Committee both recommend that the Navy's fiscal year 2023 research and development funding requests for the SSN, X, program be approved in their respective reports on the FY2023 National Defense Authorization Act, H. Rep. 117 to 397 of July 1, 2022, pages 473 and 478, and FY 2023 DOD Appropriations Act, HR 8236, respectively. Hope you guys love the video. Don't forget to hit the like button and please do subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to all. So you can get the notification on each upload.